What is up guys, it's Ryan, I'm back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about Captain Marvel. And we're going to talk about a lot of stuff in the MCU, and we're going to nerd out in this video. Just a disclaimer, there is going to be spoilers for Avengers, Thor, Infinity War, and obviously Captain Marvel. So if you haven't seen any of those four movies and you don't want it spoiled, do not watch this video. Those who want to continue though, let's nerd out and let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is how well they scripted the movie entirely. The way that it leaves you kind of confused at first, like, it kind of reminded me of Thor Ragnarok. And, uh, what's the other one? Oh, Doctor Strange. Those were the two movies that I thought were kind of confusing at first, but the more you keep watching it, uh, it's, it's amazing. It's one of the best they've made so far. And of course, I love every MCU movie, so that one was really good. I loved how, you know, I thought Brie Larson actually did a really good job acting in this movie. I think she was perfect for the role, contrary to all the political nonsense or uh, maybe feminism. I don't want to get into that discussion. I am talking about the movie, and I think she killed it. She played a great role. She was funny. And... Those are two people I never thought that would really have good chemistry acting together was her and Samuel L. Jackson, but they, they, they were an ultimate team in this movie. They were great. They were funny. They worked together well. And I really enjoyed it, all the comedy and seriousness, everything involved in this movie between the two of them. Second thing I want to talk about. Holy crap, I was not expecting that the Kree was putting false memories in her mind. And they were tell they were they were basically manipulating her, telling her that, you know, she can't control her emotions. But we all know in the end of the movie that it's her emotions that make her strongest. So it was really funny. Uh, I was really not expecting the scrolls to actually be. A, I don't know if you call it the good side, but not the bad side. Uh, she knew what was happening to the scrolls was wrong, and she took it back to the Cree. And at first, I thought, wow, what a plot twist. What an insane plot twist. And if you saw the movie, which I hope everyone who's watching has saw the movie, did, you would know that they ended up fighting. She, once she found out who her name was, she ended up becoming stronger and ended up beating the entire Kree very easily, might I add. It was... I, I'm not going to say it was un, not climactic, but she was just so powerful that she had to, she basically wiped out the Kree herself and she basically sent the rest of them off back into space and whatnot. And the one thing that the Kree was after was the Tesseract, which I will get into this later. The Tesseract, she told Nick Fury to keep this on Earth and away from the Kree. At that moment, it all made sense to me. And there was no, like, extra teaser or anything in the background. It just made sense the way she said it. You know, do you got this is where I'm going to start spoiling the other movies. Do you guys remember in the Avengers Infinity War, when Banner comes back from space, goes straight to Tony, he says, Thanos is coming. And Tony is stupid confused. And then he talks about how Thanos is the one who sent the... I forget the name, but all the enemies in the first Avengers that were trying to get the Tesseract. Thanos sent them. So, at that moment, I was like, wait a minute. Is Thanos a part of the Kree? Because I'm right now, I think he is. It makes perfect sense. And if you saw the end of the movie and stayed for the post credit scene, it leaves you right off where, if you haven't seen the Endgame trailer yet, it leaves you right off, right there, and everyone's wondering what they're going to do, and he says, this is our only shot. And then comes Brie Larson, Captain Marvel, and she says, where's Nick Fury? Because obviously we know at the end of Infinity War that Nick Fury sent the call right before he faded. So, right now we know, what we do know is that Captain Marvel is going to be in this next movie, and bring the fight back to the Kree, or what I presume is the Kree, not just Thanos. I think it's actually the Kree. And 
hopefully they're going to destroy the Kree and the Avengers will live on happily ever after. That would be my thought. The one thing I thought going into this movie also, I thought, oh, she's going to be overpowered because she's a girl. And maybe because just the way it's scripted, but that's not the case. It was really good. Yeah, I was expecting her to make it easy, which is kind of the case. You know, she did kick butt at the end, and it wasn't really a climactic battle, as I stated earlier. But the one thing that we do know is that she is going to be the biggest tool that's going to lead the fight back to Thanos, or the Kree, whoever it may be, who was after the Tesseract. And because she was called, she's trying to get informed of what's going on. So that was amazing how they pieced all this together. It was an amazing, it was an amazing uh, origin story. But the one thing I loved even more is that it actually explains how Nick Fury lost his eye because the Furkler, or the cat, whatever, explains how he lost his eye. That's something I've always been curious about. Another thing I loved about it is that we now know how the Avengers started. Nick Fury said we need to put together a team to stop more of these invasions or evil or whatnot. And the other guy, who I forget his name, but he's the guy from Thor and the Avengers who's trying to keep Thor away from his hammer. If you guys don't remember that guy. He says, what makes you think that's going to be a good idea? Or what makes you think that's going to be possible? And Nick Fury said... She found us, and we weren't even looking for her. So, maybe we can intentionally find more. And at that moment, I was thinking, he's talking about the Avengers. But then it even shows the picture at the end. It shows the whole picture of Brie, or I keep calling her Brie Larson. Carol Fierce, or whatever her last name was. I forget what it pieced together. But... On the plane she was flying, it showed, and one word, there's like four words, but one of the words was Avenger, and he just gave a smirk. And I was like, that's how they got the name. That's so awesome. Yeah, I was super impressed with Captain Marvel. So, I guess it's not really the most professional review, but I'm a nerd. I like to vent about all this stuff, and I hope some of you guys enjoy this stuff too. So if you want to talk more about these Marvel, DC movies, superhero movies, whatever movies, I love talking about this stuff. So with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. And we'll catch you guys next time.